Israeli settlers have broken into Al-Aqsa Mosque and clashed with Palestinians there. They were backed by Israeli forces who attacked the Palestinians using tear gas and rubber-coated steel bullets. Israeli forces also beat the Palestinian protesters. An emergency press conference was held in Jerusalem al-Quds following the clashes. Leading Islamic figures attended the event, called upon all Palestinians and all Arab states to prevent the continued violations of Al-Aqsa Mosque and the rights of Palestinians living in Jerusalem al-Quds. Israelis, including settlers and soldiers, are not allowed to go inside and pray in Al-Aqsa Mosque. Today, Israel is trying to persuade the world that Jerusalem al quds should be divided. They might have missiles and armies, but they have no right to this land whatsoever. The Mufti of Jerusalem says the violations against Palestinians have been going on since Al-Nakba in 1948, as Israel continues to colonize Jerusalem al quds and the West Bank. This is the anniversary of Al-Nakba. However, the Israeli occupation has continued this catastrophe. In recent days, attacks against the Palestinians by settlers and soldiers have intensified. Today, we had settlers breaking into Al-Aqsa Mosque. That was supported by members of Netanyahu's Likud party. Mohammed Hassan also said there should be no delay in the Palestinian Authority unifying their government and solving internal conflicts between Hamas and Fatah in order to strengthen the government against the Israeli occupation. He further stated that the Arab League and all Arab countries should come together in order to promote the responsibility of the Arab states, in order to protect Al-Aqsa Mosque and Jerusalem al-Quds against the Israeli occupation. Following the raids by Jewish settlers and soldiers, Israeli authorities closed Al-Aqsa Mosque to all non-Muslim worshippers following international pressure. Although the Israeli authorities eventually prevented all Israelis from entering Al-Aqsa, during the press conference, Islamic figures stated that it continues to be Tel Aviv's policy of ethnically cleansing Palestinians from their land alongside the Judaization of Jerusalem. Nelvan Press TV, Occupied Jerusalem Al-Quds.